Hi, and welcome back to Dusty's Corner. Today we're going to go over the simple method of priming a stopcock and also how to use it with all sides open. And I say this because even one of the um, famous training videos that we watch nationally has a three-way stopcock only open two ways when given adenosine and then having to switch it back. Um, and it's really designed to be able to use it with all ports open. So first, we're, let's just talk about priming it. When you're priming, of course, you're gonna do this sterilely. You've washed your hands, you've got um, gloves on, and you have a sterile environment. You can even open like a sterile four x four and have it laying here so that everything that you lay on it is, is sterile. So watch, if you will, we're gonna prime this. I'm using colored water so you can see it easily. We're priming all the way here. And now I'm gonna turn it off to that. And I'm priming this way. If you wanna stop flow and decrease the um, chance of entraining air, I put the stopcock about halfway. This way, um, nothing, if you see here, I'm pushing and nothing is moving either way. And notice that nice little bubble here and the um, bubble there is ensuring that there's no entraining um, of, of air. If you leave one side open, you might lose a little and you can entrain air sometimes. So, so again, when priming your stopcock, it doesn't matter which one you do first, but prime all the way one end, turn your stopcock off to that area that you're not using, prime the other end, and then come somewhere mid midway. And now if you needed to put your other another syringe on, you could put this right on top and um, secure it in and you're ready to go. So to continue and be able to use the stopcock in all directions, you would turn it off to the area that you're not using, which would be down. And as you can see, that is how you entrain air. So again, when once you prime it, and you've primed it all the way through, go ahead and attach whatever medication you're gonna be using. And again, sometimes I'll do the drop method to make sure that I'm not gonna entrain any air. And at this point, you would attach it to your patient and turn it off to the area that you're not using, which is downward. So now I can use all ports. If my patient is here, I can go this way and this way and both ports are open and usable. If I turn this off this way, then that's not gonna allow anything from this syringe to go into the stopcock, but this one still remains open. If I turn it off here to the patient, then nothing is gonna be um, open for flow. So just practice learning and recognize that wherever the off tab is, is the area that will no longer work. So as you can see, it's off here, meaning these two both are open. In this position, that syringe is no longer um, active. And in this position, this syringe. If you don't want any of it to be open, then you turn it off to your patient. And that is how to use a three-way stopcock. Thank you for listening.